I'm Neil and welcome to Dreaming of Chess Mastery, a YouTube channel that examines all things concerned with the world of adult chess improvement. Now, we're in the second week of January and if you're anything like me, it has now become overwhelmingly, abundantly apparent that you're not going to keep those resolutions. You know, resolutions or even intentions that between intention and action there is an, an abyss and I've slipped into it. So my idea of um, developing a, a more rigorous chess study habit, well, a friend came to visit, Australian, lives in Chile that I've known for years, well, that put paid to that sort of daily plan and another of my um, mini resolutions was to start seriously analysing my games and I haven't. Actually if I'm truly honest uh, the last two and a bit months of, of chess improvement yes I know I'm supposed to be analysing my chess games and yes I haven't been. I analysed a couple and then it just didn't really take off from there. So what's gone wrong? Um, and around about this time, the second week of January, you will be, if you're in the, the world of uh, YouTube videos and content creation, thought leaders and the rest, you will by now be inundated with systems and hacks and plans to how to implement these resolutions and how to overcome the things that are, that are holding you back. And I suppose one of the most obvious um, causes that people will be talking about is this idea of perfectionism. And, and the idea kind of goes like this. You know, you, um, you know what you want to do and you don't do it because uh, it's only worth doing if you do it perfectly and rather than embark on the difficult process of um, learning this new skill or, or uh, implementing this new habit um, it's best to leave it to one side and not start at all because you know then you won't have to deal with the messy business that what you do is far from perfect. In my case of um, chess analysis, of analysing my games, I, I know that it's not going to be perfect. I've embraced that idea. I have actually analysed a couple of games. I started looking at the first one that I analysed maybe six months ago. Uh, and therein lies another tale, a game that I played years and years and years ago. Um, and my analysis is dreadful. And that's fine. I know that. I mean, that's why I'm checking it with a search engine. Um, so that's not what's holding me back. I, but I think it's something kind of connected with us, that idea. And I thought about it in this sense because I, I received one of my, one of my chess newsletters, a uh, very, very good guest blog post by Neil Bruce on... Um, Say Chess's newsletter. Um, and Neil Bruce was talking about, uh, and I'll, I'll give you a link because it really is well worth reading, some very, very good stuff. Neil Bruce is an interesting content creator, um, instigator of ideas, uh, adult chess improve, improver extraordinaire. Well, I don't know if it's the extraordinaire in terms of how much he's improved. I mean, he's improved a lot. Uh, and I think he's got a lot to share with us on that front. But uh, extraordinaire as in the, um, well, the zest, the zeal that he's brought to bear. And one of the things that he's done is... Uh, you know, that he's put at the heart of his improvement, is um, solving tactical problems. Uh, and he talks about, in this blog post, he talks about 
um, you know, yes, you want to build up a habit of solving puzzles, maybe tactical problems for half an hour a day or even more. Um, but it's okay if you just solve one. And that's fine. If you solve at least one every day, you build the habit, you build momentum. Um, don't, and if you miss a day, that's also okay, but don't miss two. And uh, obviously, the idea isn't to just solve one puzzle a day. It might be that you do 30 minutes, but if you just do one a day, that's fine. Um, you'll build the habit. And I was thinking about this in the context of analysing chess games. But just analyse one game a day. Well, therein lies the problem. Even a, a fairly um, limited sort of uh, amateur attempt at analysing a game is a commitment of anywhere from 30 minutes to an hour. I was thinking about this, this idea of just solve one problem a day, and then it struck me. You know, if you're trying to build the habit of analysing your chess games, just analyse one move a day. I mean, of course, if you build up a head of steam and you analyse a whole game on a particular day, that's fine. But if you find that, you know, you just don't have the energy or the time, pick a game, pick a puzzle you've been studying, uh, whatever it is, uh, a position in a book that you've been reading, and give yourself 10, 15 minutes and analyse one move. Just one move. And it's a lot more manageable. Now, I was also thinking about this because, uh, and again, I'll share this in the uh, description. Um, I got around to posting a blog that I'd written months and months ago. Um, and it was about a game that I'd been that I that I'd uh, looked at via um, PlaygrandMasters.com, a um, game of Kasparov's that was that's really one that I need to analyse. And I've I I haven't I haven't reviewed the game I haven't analysed it, uh, and I and the problem is this sort of this, I suppose, weight of what the task will entail. I've played through the game a second time. Um, and it's a game that I need to analyse. Uh, because it's a position that crops up a lot in, in games that I've played. Because um, it's... When I played through it on the Playground Masters site... I'm, I mean, it's one of my lowest scores, a game that clearly I had I, no idea what was going on. I had a good idea of, of what the, the gist of the game was, the thread. But I just got all the, game, all the moves wrong. And I finally posted this uh, uh, blog that I'd written. And there's a move, and I just need to analyse that move. Why did I make that mistake? And answer that question. One of the reasons we don't um, commit to doing something less than perfectly is we have this feeling that, you know, this is great material somehow. I don't want to analyse one game badly because this was a great game that I played. And, you know, to be honest, I don't play that many great games or this is an instructive game that I was studying. So I need to really dig into it. Um, but the facts of the matter are that we, we have tons of material. And if we're going to improve, we need to consider that we will continue generating material at a far greater pace than uh, we can possibly keep up with. So picking a game where we don't do 
the full Monty, so to, be, so to speak, where we strip it bare of literally every little detail. That's fine. Just pick a move and get into the habit of analysing. And that's what I need to do. Um, so that's it for this week. Um, I guess the message is whatever it is you're trying to implement, and it doesn't, obviously this is a, 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 a chess blog vlog, um, but this applies to anything. Strip it down to the very core. What is the basis of it? You know, um, the, the tiny habits guy, BJ Fogg. You want to start a flossing habit? Floss one tooth. That's all you need to do. And that is how you will build, you will build the habit. You want to develop a habit of uh, sorting out the dishes, but you just haven't got the strength to do it right now. Wash one dish. Um, and that's it. Reduce things to, to a sort of uh, a minimum, bare minimum, and make that a habit. Um, build from the bottom up. And, uh, you know, avoid getting hung up on the fact that, you know, obviously it's less than perfect what you're doing. And if you're, a, you know, a chess amateur like me, it will always be less than perfect. You know, the struggles that I face are the struggles that grandmasters face. I mean, just that they face it on a much, much more profound, higher level of of chess thought. Um, what's necessary is is to just start. And for me, in the case of analysis, analyzing a game begins with analyzing a move. So that's it for this week. Uh, as always, I uh, hope this uh, video finds you well, um, that you're enjoying your chess, or if you are one of the viewers who isn't really a chess player, and they're out there, believe it or not, that uh, you're enjoying learning whatever it is you are learning. Um, I hope you're safe and well, keeping healthy. And until next week, from a sunny Brazil, ciao.